Christian, obviously working your way back from injury again. How are you feeling? And then how comfortable are you kind of getting back into the swing of things in that secondary? Yeah. Um, I mean, coming off of last year, I mean, obviously I, you know, sustained a pretty uh, significant injury and I, I mean, I feel good. My body feels good. Um, I wouldn't be practicing if I didn't feel 100% healthy and 100% confident in my ability. Um, so, you know, uh, I guess, you know, coming back initially, you, you always kind of have those Bambi legs, you know what I'm saying? I haven't practiced in about a year, haven't played in about a year. So, you know what I'm saying? The jitters of just, uh, less jitters and more of just the, the excitement of being back on the field and, you know, doing what I love is, um, <clears throat> it was, you know, Definitely took maybe a practice just to get my feet back wet, but you know, after that, I'm saying I'm rolling just fine. You stayed at safety predominantly, or have you gotten any extra looks at stars? Yeah, I, I've, I've played safety predominantly. Yeah. Was there a mental hurdle that you had to overcome when you were coming back to practice? Um, I wouldn't say uh, it was less about coming back to practice because by the time I was at the, at the stage where I could practice, I'd already proved to myself and, you know, proved to my mental and to my body that I was able to, you know, uh, endure all the physical. Um, parts of the game, um, but I mean, I would say the biggest part of the mental hurdle was you know initially getting hurt because um, you know losing losing the ability to do what you love. Um, <clears throat> and that instant, you know, a lot of things go through your head. You know, why me? Like, uh, did I deserve this? You know, what I'm saying. Um, but it's all a part of the journey. You know, so I wouldn't say I'm happy that it happened, but I'm grateful because it, it you know, what I'm saying allowed me to view this game in, in it from a different perspective. So. Obviously, some guys are gone from last year, but in listening to Coach Martinez and Will, the word we keep hearing is cohesive. Do you see it that way with that group? I definitely see it very cohesive. Um, in, in our room, we're very, we're all very supportive of each other. Um, you know, we all want to just see each other, each other grow and each other learn. You know, what I'm saying there's there's no animosity in our room or anything like that. We all just want to see each other, um, you know, be their best. Because if if we're all at our best and we're all helping each other and being great teammates, you know, that's just that helps the success of our room and not only our room but our team. So. Uh, yeah, again, well, first of all, just being back in Neyland and, and playing again, you know, it was so fun. Um, but, you know, I guess it just comes down to, you know, uh, playing situationally. That's, that's always a big thing, and that's always something you can't replicate until you're, you know, in a, in a true game-like scenario. You know, you can do that practice, but you know, even in a scrimmage, it feels a little bit different. So I would just say, uh, you know, playing situational football is, you know, uh, incredibly important. Give us your breakdown on Jermaine McCoy, what he's like as a player. Yeah, Jermaine McCoy, very, very, very explosive guy, man. Um, a, a guy that has a lot, a ton of ability, um, and, and so far he showed flash. You know what I'm saying of being able to get the ball and um, be a playmaker for our team. So I'm very excited for what he's going to bring us through this season for sure. What have you seen from Will Brooks over at the safety position with you? Yeah, man, Will Brooks. Just talk about like a just talk about a commander. You know, a guy that you can look to no matter what, um, and just very easy to communicate with. You know what I'm saying? A guy that a guy that that knows the room and knows the playbook in and out. So you know what I'm saying? Just having the utmost amount of confidence in Will. You know, you could look to him at any time, have any kind of question about anything in the playbook. You know, you could be a D lineman and ask him about a stunt. He knows. You know what I'm saying? What to what to tell you, or, or if you're a linebacker, ask him about a fit and he can help you. Um, so I, I see I see a leader in Will Brooks. You know, a guy that knows what he's talking about for sure. Heupel said during the scrimmage that the secondary looked good and tight coverage. What mm. did you guys think you've improved the most in those you know down the field tight coverage? Um, I would say, you know, exactly what you said, you know, down the field. Um, with with the offense like ours, you know, uh, got you know, quick throws and then, you know, longer, deeper route concepts, you know, it's important to cover, you know, not only um, quickly, but, you know what I'm saying, cover for longer downfield because of our, our quarterback's abilities, you know what I'm saying, to get out of the pocket and make plays happen, so. Will was just in here and he said you guys are kind of working hard and dedicating this season to Jordan. Is that kind of like the mindset this year for you? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, four, four is a big, a big part of our room, a leader in our room. So, definitely some inspiration for him. That star position. How quickly did you realize that Boo Carter was someone that could make such a big impact as a freshman? Um, I would say that 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 started in the spring. You know, what I'm saying he he obviously showed those flashes of the of the playmaking ability. Um, you know, what I'm saying just getting his hands on the ball. So, I would say that's the biggest thing. And, and you know, we all know what he did when he was in high school with you know, with the ball in his hands. So. Um, he, he has that, you know what I'm saying, that, that bit of that it, that it factor that makes him different, you know what I'm saying? He, he has that ability, so. A couple more. What sure about uh, Christian Harrison? He's kind of been waiting his turn, kind of like Jordan Thomas had, too. What, For sure. What, is, what kind of camp has he had? Uh, he's, he, he's had a pretty good camp. Um, I would say he's, he's been pretty consistent. Um, that's the word I would use for Christian, for sure. Um, you know, playing and play out, he's been willing to communicate and willing to, you know, get on the same page with uh, the, whole, the whole back end, which in essence is the most important thing. Um, so, you know, I would say with Christian, there hasn't been very, there hasn't been very many breakdowns of communications or anything like that, you know what I'm saying, uh, just very tight in coverage. So he's had a good camp so far, for sure.
this is sort of my tie into the injury stuff, but how, how comfortable do you feel at safety now, uh, you know, settling back in there after being a corner a couple years ago? Uh, I, I feel super comfortable. You know, I've, I've had the opportunity, you know, to flip back and forth between playing corner and safety, and I guess just playing both positions really kind of broadens my view, um, you know, and, and allows me to, you know what I'm saying, bring different characteristics and di different play styles from, you know, one to the other, you know, playing corner, more, more, of a man, more in man techniques, um, um, you know what I'm saying, matching feet more, and then getting back to safety, you know what I'm saying, being, playing the quarterback a little bit more and things like that. And I, I feel like the fact that I've gotten the opportunity to play both positions has really kind of broadened my view and really um, upgraded my skill set for sure.